Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe. I'm Pawnshop135 and in the last episode we fought Quetzal and got asked about um, Ziggy's potential heist that we still don't know how it went. In this episode we're gonna go to sleep. sleepy but I made a promise to write and I'm gonna follow through this time of course you finally write dear ma pa and Kiki this is harder than I thought so hard July 28th Mina come quick there's good news uh, really need to remember to lock that door. Doesn't even look like there's an actual door. Get dressed and let's go. All right. You're reminding me of my mom. Where are we going? To Velkior's. Ah, now that my two best assistants are here, I can commence with the announcement. Did you figure out a vaccine for the monster virus? I wish, but that one is going to take a bit more time. No, it's... You finished the Ambrosia project? My word! Can't you give an old scientist his moment? Oh, sorry. Well, don't keep her in suspense any longer. With your help? Yes, you guessed it! We've completed Ambrosia! An adorable travel size for now until I can get it cleared by the brigade. Whoa! Congratulations, Pelkior! Can we give it a taste? My dear, you needn't even ask. I've prepared a meal for all of us to share. One dish has no ambrosia, and the other does. Gee, I wonder which one. I'm so excited. So, how is it supposed to work again? By itself, it doesn't taste like anything at all. But each spray on a dish heightens the existing flavors. Think of how salt accentuates sweetness. But this works across multiple flavor profiles at once. Bon appetit. First, the base dish. This is good, Belchior. Brace yourselves. Now for the modified dish. It really works! I was curious about whether all the heightened flavors would clash, but it makes them clearer. Granted, you must still start with a good base. This is not a shortcut. If you start with a terrible dish, it will just accentuate the bad tastes threefold as well. Amazing! Here, I want you each to have samples. And when I can reproduce these results, I can give you more. Thank you, Belchior. Yeah, this is really cool. Thank you. We got Vial of Ambrosia. The distilled essence of flavor improves anything it touches. Times to promote sauces. What exactly has been going on in here? Pardon? My associates and I are just celebrating a culinary breakthrough. This guy again. Mina Han of the Windy Village. I challenge you to a duel. Excuse me, but we're in the middle of something right now. Could you try again another time? No, I will not be slighted one more time. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No one talks to my students that way. Yeah, you get them, Belchior. When you cut me in line, you set off a fuse, and your time is up, Missy. As soon as I got to the registration table, a bird flew by and dropped a gross gift right on my luscious locks. Didn't you hear that's good luck? I got some on my cloak when I first came into town. <laughs> that's why I've been on a winning spree. If you hadn't cut, I'd have been done registering and free of bird droppings. Really, that's your gripe. A bird decided to drop you a present, and, and that's why you're so angry. Then I needed to get a place to stay. And who do you think took the very last room at the Regal Warren? 
A room that would have been mine if it weren't for you. I slept in a smelly old tavern filled with drunkards that night. I had to share a mattress. Okay, that one would legitimately upset me. But he seems like a daddy's boy. He could have afforded like an upscale hotel room. Yikes. The next day, I headed to the practice kitchens and all the stations were taken but one. As I was walking calmly to the sign-in booth, you and your friends rushed past me and took the last spot. Hmm. I suppose we were rushing because we wanted to make sure we had time before the opening ceremony. I was so unfamiliar with the arenas later that I lost my first match. Is this fellow serious? Yes. Yes, he is. I'm not leaving here until you accept my challenge. You don't have to listen to someone so entitled, Mina. Of course I accept your challenge. Why didn't you just ask me sooner? Well, young man, you best be prepared. Oh, I'm ready. Iron Stomach, you've met your match. Alright, well, we're gonna replace uh, Wynn's satchel with Simon's bear carving. And we're going to get rid of Leonid's Rainbow Droplets for Vial of Ambrosia. Actually, uh, we'll drop Emerald Grass for... For uh, the Rainbow Droplet. Cookware. Um, we'll replace... We'll price the uh, the slow cooker for the hearty oven. I, actually, I take that back. Keep the slow cooker. Today's challenge is the culmination of a highly contentious rivalry between two up-and-coming talents. Both contestants have traveled far and fought hard for their place in this tournament. But only one may continue. Who will prevail? Today's challenger should count himself warned. The Iron Stomach's blades are at the ready. Mina! A brash new challenger who has a bone to pick with the notorious Iron Stomach. I give you Wise, the Righteous Fury! You won't last another day here. Wise! Not much is known about this judge, except that he appears to help those in need. The people of Victusia raise their glasses to Kevin the Generous. Sir. Of course he'd be a bro. I'm here to try a dish with lots of fire and earth. I'm proud to present the fierce and noble warrior, Vivian the Vagrant. Thank you, Chairman. I look forward to the battle between these two strong chefs. I like her design. She looks like Yang from Ruby. Strength is a duality. Warriors combine mind and body to achieve victory. Knowing this, you must present me a dish worthy of a warrior. Equal parts water and fire. The great ogre philosopher Skurets divined metaphysical truths from the stars in a faraway tower. She rejected modern comforts to live encased in a realm of endless night. Not much is known about her, save that she favored a rather unusual carrier fowl. For what creature could withstand that brutal darkness except... Scowl! Scowl breast and scowl talion. 
talent. Vive la brigade! Right. So we're gonna be hunting in the uh, the skies. Right, just fearing my boy. Okay, there's only one scowl. Oh, two, sorry. if that first scowl has uh, spawned back in. No, it hasn't. Okay, you know what? Maybe it'll spawn back in when I start cooking. So let's go ahead and work on... Uh, they're both fire. Scalp rest, scalp feet, brisket tail. All right, maybe now we'll spawn in. There we go. Oops. Blast. Okay, okay, good, good, good. They didn't fall off the, the cliff. And the other one hasn't spawned in yet. So, uh, 
go ahead and put this in here. Try and promote that gym. Let me see if any more scowls have popped up. Okay, there you go. We don't have much time. Uh, put in scalp feet, scalp breast. All right. And we're gonna put some Aramok liver in here and verskit meat. Set in here to get rid of that. Take that out. And uh, wind fruits. No. No chi fruit. I've got one that's mostly earth and fire, so... Actually, let's put this in here, get rid of that bone. need to tell me, Mina. I know to hurry. Alright, yeah, let's go and serve these. I feel like I could have done better. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Judgment. Wowee. Wise made seared squid a squidical tentacle served with wind fruit and iceberg turnip assort assortments. Again, where are they getting these, you know, these ingredients that weren't even in the uh, the hunting area? It's cho it's chock full of fire and earth. Delish. He ends off with two twenty nine. Awesome. We made s glazed scowl wings topped with scowl feet and verskit tail assortments. The earth and fire were supposed to shine through together. Bummer, you didn't use equal parts fire and earth. Theme ingredient. It's good. Two thirty. Uh, Excellent. Uh, we beat him by one point on that first one. Wind fruit frigier served with fiery sauce and R Mark ribs melange. I do like that wind effect on there. That's pretty cool. You've captured the spirit of strength, fire, and water coming together to make an even greater element. 
Ugh. If this is an attempt on my life, we can settle it with our steel. 204. Truly grand. Oh, I got nothing. I got nothing to worry about. Scowl feet dim sum. Garnished with scowl breast and armark liver medley. You've captured the spirit of strength. Fire and water coming together to make an even greater element. Okay, yeah, the knife. You honor me with this meal. I have never tasted it's uh, never. I have never tasted it's like before. That I think that might be a typo. 520. We bulldozed him. Another stunning victory for the Iron Stomach. Yeah, take that, wise. Minaha wins. Yeah, we bulldozed him. Well, madam, I've lost fair and square. Wise, it was a good match. I hope you know I never meant to hurt anyone. I was just impatient. <laughs> Maybe you can start wearing a hat in case of bird danger from above. Uh, that's the least of my problems now. I guess I'll have to try again next year. Uh, do you mean this was your last strike? I have six wins. I waited to challenge you as my last victory to make it into the finals. But the thing is... I also had four losses. Everything was on the line for this battle. You know, now I feel kind of bad for him. You may be knocked out, but you're not knocked down. You're a great chef, Weiss. And you better try out again. Perhaps I will. As much as I hate to admit it, you gave me the drive to make it this far. For that, I'm grateful. Yeah, because he started out as a stuck-up prick, and now he ended up as, you know... As a nice guy. Here, so you'll never forget me. I, I think he's still kind of stuck up, though. Yeah, he's definitely stuck up. Weiss's autographed headshot. When you're feeling down, Weiss can turn things around. Prevents knockout once. Yeah, no, we're not using this. See you around someday. Wait, was he just giving those away to the... To the other people that beat him? Thanks for coming. It was a favor to Mina. Now, let's see this evidence. <laughs> to the point as usual. I agree, though. What did you find? This. Hidden in the desk of one Grandmaster Rixel. Him. Their plans to extract samples from the Dark Realm. Samples for what? I'm not sure. Most of these notes are scribbles. Turn the page. He injected monster cells with the samples he found there. And that isn't all. His drawings are identical to the mutated cells I've been studying. So this man, Rixel, he did start the outbreak. I don't think the Brigade would sign off on something like that. He's got to be hiding from them. Ziggy, you were right. Don't look so surprised. We need to tell Razzle. No. Kieran? I'm sorry, but we can't. You remember how she handled your expulsion. We don't know how many brigadiers are involved in this. Her reverence for the rules could put Rixel's findings in untrustworthy hands. Though I detest the methodology by which we acquired this information, we can't ignore it now. Right on, Diamonds. Kieran's right, but Razzle's already investigating the break-in. If we're going to solve this ourselves, we have to be careful. We should go about our normal lives and finish up the tournament. Maybe let this rest for a few days. But won't that give the mutation more time to spread? The Brigade's got the outbreak under control for now, but they need us to put an end to it. We aren't much good to Victuja if we're under investigation. Then it's settled. We'll go about our normal lives until we're in the Brigade. A Brigadier's life isn't really for me, but I'll keep myself busy. Okay. Good luck, everyone. You too, PJ. <sighs> it feels weird to 
be the one to actually knock a ship out of the tournament. And don't even get me started with Rixel. I should write about it, I guess. Let's see. Still no cure for the monster epidemic, but Belkior and Kieran are working non-stop. I miss you, and I hope you're all safe. July 29th. Alright, and that's going to do it for this episode of Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.